Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I want to do a quick uh, tutorial about uh, how to use uh, some of the uh, other diffusion models like uh, for AMD GPU. So because uh, as I showed uh, in my previous tutorial, there's a method to convert them to the OMMX format, but uh, some of the audience uh, say that uh, they, they got uh, like some unexpected results after the converting. So I took a look and I found that uh, there may be some updates in the script. So today I wanted to do a quick uh, demo and uh, also do a quick uh, tutorial so you are able to uh, like try it yourself. Okay, so let's uh, uh, quickly get started. So like in order for the demo, I used uh, the web UI I created. If you are not familiar with it, please uh, do check out my previous video. All right, so 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 after I started the server, I like will be able to open the this web address. So in here, I will able to try them out. So one of the model is uh, from here called a uh, Dream Shaper. So so uh. I already converted it here, so I will select it. And uh, I will try several of those uh, examples. So for example, this one. Yeah, I will copy the prompt. And the negative prompt. And uh, like uh, for the scheduler, it uses DPM, but unfortunately I haven't uh, uh, incorporated it yet, but I will choose uh, OLA A. For the step, SODI and the CFG scale, TAM. All right, TAM and uh, SODI. Yeah, others will, I will leave the seed as the random. So I will check check uh, like how it goes. All right. So with with everything set up, I can click uh, the submit. And uh, on the left side, there's the monitoring panel for the GPU. And also we can take a look at the terminal. So yeah, it goes uh, on very well. Yeah, and also we took a look at the original image, so I, we can expect uh, the output will be similar. Yeah, indeed, I yeah, as you can see, it's uh, not exactly the same, but I would say very similar. So yeah, please give it a try. I think uh, you probably can get something like better than this one. Okay, that's for Dream Shaper. So another one is for deliberate. So so right here, I already opened it here. So I will pick one of this one. And uh, before we do that, let's choose the model name, deliberate prompt and the negative prompt. And we can choose the uh, CFG scale steps, 40, it's a seven. Yep, yeah, looks good. And uh, we, can click uh, submit. So the terminal will show the loading of the model and we can monitor the VRAM usage. Yeah, 
so progress bar appears so we can see the use GPU usage also increase already yeah yeah we do see it uh, appears to be very similar to the uh, example image right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So let's. Uh, uh, try another model I converted uh, this afternoon. So this one is uh, L dress imagination mix. So we will also choose the model here. So I will uh, use the left one as an example. So copy all the information here prompt and the uh, negative prompt and the uh, seed steps 49.5 okay for the scheduler we will use the OLA A and uh, let's uh, Submit. Yeah, similarly as usual, the program will start by loading the selected model and then it will process the uh, generating of the image. One thing I wanted to mention is that for the AMD card, the power consumption is. Uh, uh, it's, it's really good because I have other NVIDIA card. It seems the NVIDIA card will cause some real power draw. Yeah, okay, we got a, got a this one. Um, it's a little, a little different, but uh, I, I think the other elements are here. So we probably want to try the seed. Let's try the seed here of it. Yeah, copy seed and uh, import here and then we can we can submit yeah so this time because of the model we already uh up like a uh, like uploaded so it was no need to reload it and we can see that the time is uh, exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, we may want to increase the steps. So I think the face is a little below. So let's uh, try to increase it to 50. And uh, try it again. Yeah, we can see right here. So it's uh, some somewhat similar, but uh, I think uh, you will like need to play with the prompt to get the exact image. Yeah, that's unfortunately uh, for right now because I don't have the exact uh, scheduler. So um, so you may you may need to try some other combination. Yeah, sorry about that. I will try to add that in my next version. Already, yeah. So yeah, I think that's it. I quickly demoed uh, three of, uh, yeah, three of the converted models. Yeah, I will show you how to do them. All right, hi everyone. Welcome back. 
So I will quickly show you how to download the, the different model. So I got some questions from the audience. So I just want to provide a step-by-step -step guidance. So for example, so one of the viewers say that uh, he's interested in this model called uh, Deliberate. So you will go to the silver tile and search for the model name. So usually you can see that it's very popular, 1.4K stars here. Um, and uh, we will see that uh, uh, if you move like a scroll down, there's like multiple descriptions here. There's some example images here. And there's also some discussion here. And in order to download it, as you can see, there's a download button, like, like right uh, beneath the model name here. So there's a download button. And uh, you will be able to like download it. You can choose uh, the this format called a Picker Tensor or Safe Tensor. So right now I think the Safe Tensor is recommended because of safety concerns. As they say, the Picker Tensor may able to contain some like a, like a, like a virus. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So so once you click it, it will be able to save to your local drive. So that's how to download the model. So so I will use the Picker Tensor as example. So for the Picker Tensor, once it's downloaded, you will see that it's a CKPT file. So I will save it right here. And also uh, I will provide the link to the two converting script to the description so you're able to use them. So for now, I will uh, yeah, I will provide a step-by-step -step, uh, detailed guidance on how to do that. So, so right here, I already created the demos. Here, I have the model file and the scripts here. They are in the same directory. So I will uh, start my Miniconda prompt. So in order to do the conversion, you will st like need the Python environment. So if you are not familiar with that, please uh, do check out my other previous uh, tutorial. Conda activate SD39. And we will need to move to this directory. So. All right, so so next, uh, like uh, we want to do is uh, we will use uh, a two-step process. The first step is to convert uh, CKPD to diffusion. So it's the first one, convert uh, stable diffusion to diffusers. And after that, we will convert the diffusers to OMMX. So because of the OMMX, X is the format we want to use for our MD drive. All right, I already provided uh, the two scripts right here. So, yeah, I think there's another file. Yes, you will need a called a v1 inference.yaml. Yeah, I will quickly copy it here. So this, this file is the same as my previous video shows. So the v1 inference file. All right, so next uh, you will simply uh, use the first command. So there's a Python, the script file name here original stable diffusion to diffusers, and then you will need to uh, give it uh, the checkpoint pass, so th for this pass, so, so right here, so we don't need to provide an additional pass because they are in the same directory. And then there's a dump pass, which should be the output location. So we will 
do it right here, diffusers here. We will call it uh, deliberate v11 diffusers. And then we also uh, provided the original configure name called a v1 inference.yaml. All right, and then you press enter here. So it will start the converting. Yeah, so because I already did that, I will skip this one. And then after that, you you will have you will have a folder called uh, deliberate v11 Delibor deliberate v11 diffuser here so this will contain the diffuser models and then for the next step you will need to do is to use uh, this uh, command to convert uh, from diffusers to OMMX all right, so so this is the Python and then the script name, file name, which is uh, this one, convert a stable diffusion checkpoint to OMMX v1. And then the model path is the this one, deliberate v11 diffusers. All right, and then the output for like path, you will put like give a name to it. I usually put uh, OMMX at the end, so make it uh, very clear. All right, and then after that, you were able to press enter. So so that way you were able to generate another file, photo file. Yeah, I will, I will, I will skip, skip this one because I already committed that. All right. So yeah, so as you can see, the final output will be the OMMX directory. So it will contains the converted OMX like uh, model files that you can use in the AMD GPU stable diffusion web UI. So then you are able to simply copy this uh, uh, directory to the model directory. So you were able to use that in your uh, web UI application. Yeah, I hope that that's uh, clear. Yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, like leave them in the comments. Yeah, I welcome any feedback and let me know how it goes. Thank you very much.